We've been speaking about accusations, the lies of the devil, the stories that he tries to create in your story of your life. It becomes a place where he infiltrates your mind, he infiltrates your belief system, he can even infiltrate your emotions, not as he con controlling you, but influencing you. And what he wants to influence you to do is to begin to believe these accusations that he rails against you. It's bad enough that he accuses you, but when he tries to get you to agree with those accusations, that's where we really are in the midst of the battle. Sometimes we want to stop Satan from being Satan. Stop accusing me. Stop lying about me. Stop standing before the throne room of heaven and, and making up lies about me. But, you know, Satan is Satan, and he's going to be Satan. He's not going to be transformed. He's not going to be changed. He's going to be quieted once he's put in the pit throughout eternity. But until then, he's going to accuse you. He's going to say things about you that try to wound your soul or make you feel insufficient or inadequate. And so you can't change that. But what can you change? Your agreements with what he says. How horrible it is that sometimes we fall for that trap. He, he, he says you are... Uh, insufficient. And you begin to echo that in your own mind. Yeah, I'm insufficient. And it becomes part of your life story. You, you don't at attempt things because you don't feel you're able to do it. You don't volunteer for things. You don't use the giftedness that God has put in you because you feel it's unworthy or it doesn't have any value because you've heard that lie and you agree with, agreed with it. We need to break those agreements. Tell the devil that's not true. Rebuke him in the name of the Lord and fight the good fight of faith.